In the previous lecture, we discussed the photoelectric effect. Now let's look at the following application of that effect. So let's calculate the kinetic energy and the magnitude of velocity of an electron that is ejected from a metal plate that consists of sodium atoms. So we're assuming that the work function of the electron is 2.3 electron volts and the wavelength of the beam of light is 400 nanometers. So recall that the work function is simply the energy that is required by the electron to eject that electron to overcome the electric forces between the electron and the protons found within that metal. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram. So we essentially have a beam of light that strikes the following metal plate. Now, this beam of light contains a wavelength of 400 nanometers, and the beam of light itself consists of individual photons, and each photon carries a certain quantity of energy. Now, if our photon hits the electron and the photon has an energy that is less than the work function, the electron will not eject. However, if the photon collides with the electron and the photon carries an energy that is greater than the work function, our electron will emit itself, will eject and travel across to the positive electrode with a certain velocity v. So, in part one, we want to calculate what the quantity of energy is of the photon to see if the electron will be ejected. In part two, we want to calculate the energy that the electron has, and then in part three, we want to calculate the velocity of that electron. So let's begin with part one. So the energy that a photon carries depends on the frequency. So the energy of a single photon is equal to H, Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency. Now, we don't know the frequency of light. We don't know the frequency of vibration of that photon. But we do know what the wavelength of that beam of light is. Now, recall that the frequency of light is equal to the speed of light in a vacuum given by C divided by the wavelength lambda. So, the frequency is equal to C divided by lambda. So our H is a constant. It's equal to 6.626 times 10 to negative 34 joules multiplied by second. C is a constant. It's equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And this is given to be 400 times 10 to negative 9 meters. So we multiply and divide and we get an energy of approximately 5.0 times 10 to the 19 joules. So this is the energy that is carried by a single photon. Now let's convert this from joules to electron volts. Remember, electron volts is simply a unit for energy that deals with subatomic particles, microscopic particles. So we can convert to electron volts from joules by dividing this quantity by 1.602 times 10 to negative 19 joules per electron volt. The joules will cancel, electron volts will come on top, and we see that this is equivalent to about 3.12 electron volts of energy is found in each photon and notice that this is greater than the work function that energy required to eject that electron so that means when the one-to-one -one collision does take place between the photon and electron that electron will eject the cell from that surface so now let's actually calculate 
how much energy that electron will gain in terms of kinetic energy. Recall that the maximum kinetic energy of our electron is equal to the difference between how much energy our photon carries and the work function of that electron. So, 3.12 electron volts minus 2.3 electron volts gives us 0.82 electron volts. This is how much energy is transformed into the kinetic energy of our ejected electron. Finally, in part 3, we want to calculate what the velocity of that electron is that has a kinetic energy of this quantity. So, we're going to apply this equation. The maximum kinetic energy is equal to one half mass of the electron multiplied by the square of the maximum velocity. So, basically, to use this equation, we must first convert from electron volts to joules. So to use this, we must convert back to joules. So we simply take this 0.82 electron volts and multiply it by 1.602 times 10 to negative 19 joules per electron volt. The electron volt will cancel and we're left with 1.31 times 10 to negative 19 joules. Now we take this equation, rearrange it and solve for the velocity. The maximum velocity of the electron is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by the maximum kinetic energy divided by the mass. So we multiply, divide, and take the square root, and we get that our maximum velocity of that electron as it travels from the metal plate to the positive electrode is equal to about 5.4 times 10 to the 5 meters per second.